So one thing that we can all agree on is that 2020 has been the craziest year of our life. Probably will be, hopefully it will be the worst that it gets. But I wanted to make this video because I have a few intentions that I want to bring into the next year that will help me find joy, that will be more joyous. I want them to be more of like something that I'm intending in doing and implementing in my life. I'm not gonna like cold turkey, like not have any more sugar, not eat bread ever again, go on a six mile run every morning at 5 a.m. I don't wanna do any of that insane stuff because it never works. I never like actually stay on top of it. I never really do that for more than like a week. Two weeks. The reason why we lose that motivation and that push that we want to carry over throughout the whole year, not just the beginning, is because we start out too intensely. It's the same way as like if you haven't worked out in a long time and then you go on a run, but you're like going on a run, you're running really, really hard, you haven't done any exercise in the last like month or so, you're gonna be really sore after that run and you're most likely going to be too sore to go on that run again. The habit has already been been broken because you're too sore to go and then you kind of might forget about it and then it's a goal that is like not familiar and comfortable within your lifestyle yet that happens to me all the time when I work out when I'm trying to eat healthier it's always good to start small and build from there if we go big from the from day one we're not going to achieve exactly what we want because we're going to burn ourselves out too much at the very beginning. I want to read. When I mean read, I mean read a book, but not necessarily actually physically reading a book because I am a busy person. So I'm going to try and get into audiobooks. My father loves them and he's constantly nagging at me to get into audiobooks. If you know the book Atomic Habits, I know I haven't read it, but I just know from what I've heard about it that they like to pair up habits together. So I want to listen to audiobooks when I go on walks slash runs or anytime I'm kind of doing any physical activity. Obviously, I'm gonna try and fit it in other times, like if I am if I am driving to maybe like my parents' house or something. But yes, I really, really want to get into that because there's so many phenomenal books that I literally just haven't read. I have a hard time only doing one thing at once. I love multitasking. That's just kind of the, the world we live in now where we do like seven things at once. I'm moving my body, I'm being active, but I'm also like continuing my reading. I'm thinking that I kind of want to start a monthly book club. Obviously, you don't have to listen to the audiobook, like you can also read the book if that's what you prefer. Maybe we can do that to keep our, ourselves accountable because I definitely need accountability when it comes to reading. But let me know if you want to join my book club. I will probably post something about it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, go follow me. It's like if you don't get to finish the book in a month, it's not like the end of the world. I mean, I say this now, but just watch in February, I'm gonna be like, oh damn, I haven't even like started the new book yet. Or like I'm not even halfway through and it's the end of the month. You don't know, shit happens in life, but it's good to set like intentions for ourselves. I want to learn a new language. I am bilingual. I speak Romanian as my first language and English as my second language. Romanian is my native language, but it's not that useful. It's not like French or, you know, Spanish or something like that. Also, it can become a little activity that I do every day. Day. I tried to learn Italian before and I feel like that's the one that I want to do just because I love everything about Italy including the food especially and by the time that we can travel again and I can actually take a trip to Italy I might as well use this time to learn Italian. I'm actually going to use the app Duolingo. I tried to use it before, but I was not consistent and I did not keep on top of it. My next intention to move my body because it's healthy. To give a little background, I used to be a dancer. I was trained to become a professional ballet dancer. That time in my life was honestly just so beautiful and it has given me some of the most like precious moments and lessons, good and bad, because it's shaped like who I am today. I've talked briefly about this before and I'm not gonna talk about this too much in this video. When I was dancing, I was very, very analytical, always measuring myself. When I was dancing, I was just so in tune with my body. Ballet dancers are basically athletes in the way that they train. Once I stopped dancing, I felt this freedom from all of that, I was happy to be free from those things, but that doesn't mean that in here, I didn't have those things anymore. I kind of wanted a break 
from the working out. I didn't know how to work out without looking for the result. Gradually stopped working out completely. I stopped moving my body completely. It was a weird dynamic that I was going through. Like in 2020, I know a lot of people were being really good about like working out, staying motivated, and I just like was not one of those people. Because working out as in moving your body in any way, from literally walking to running, doing actually like a stationary workout with like squats and all that stuff, playing tennis, riding your bike, or going rollerblading, like all of those things are moving your body and our bodies are meant to move. And for some reason, I can't just isolate it that way. Do actual activities like boxing, playing tennis, maybe rollerblading. Um, I know this one's gonna be another cliche one, but it's very important for me. I literally drink zero water. And I mean zero. Like I can go a whole day without drinking any water. You know how you can test if you've had enough water, you pinch your finger, I think, and then you see if it like stays that way. Yeah, see like my finger keeps those indents because I'm dehydrated. My lips are always dry. And I know it's like the most basic thing, like, oh my God, in 2021 for the new year, I wanna drink way more water. No, I seriously, it's a problem. Another thing of uh, self-care for 2021 is that I want to really stay consistent with my skincare. I had really bad skin and then I went on Accutane and my skin went through a lot when I was on Accutane, but it got rid of my cystic acne that I had like all over here. Thankfully, it went away. None of it came back. Thing is, now that my skin was clear, I was like, I don't know what to do for my skin. And also I was kind of like, do I even have to do anything for my skin? Skincare actually makes me feel good. Like doing my skincare every morning and every night. In the last few weeks, I've really been like consistent with practicing my skincare routine every night. And it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel like I'm, taking care of myself I already like see results in my skin so but next year I want to go on a vacation if a vacation means that I drive two hours somewhere outside of Seattle and I get an Airbnb I just want to go on a vacation you just need to get away from like the space you're always in the routine you're always in the people you're always around take a time at some point during the next year and go in a nice few days at least, like taking a break from like life. And I just feel like I'm not in life anymore. I'm just somewhere else. I want to meditate. I know there's a lot of people that really, really enjoy meditating and it makes them feel good and it makes them feel connected to themselves and it clears their mind and gets rid of the clutter. And I need that a lot sometimes, especially once like school starts, make it a habit, do it a few times a week maybe to the point where I do it every day for, I don't know, five minutes. This habit is not gonna be a thing that I'm like, I'm gonna meditate for an hour before I do anything else. Instead of taking a break with this, stimulate my brain with more information and more stuff and emotions, I feel like taking a break from something with meditation where you're literally just taking a second to do nothing will literally be a game changer for me. This is something that I actually have already done. I think we should all evaluate and curate our social media feeds, especially in a time right now when we're at home often, we don't go anywhere and we spend a lot more time on our phones, or at least I do. My screen time is at six hours on average, which is really bad. I really want to, first of all, spend less time on my phone, but specifically, I want to reevaluate the things that I'm actually feeding myself. I just went through it, unfollowed a bunch of different accounts that I had to ask myself, does this account bring me any joy? Does it teach me something? Does it challenge me in some way? Or does it just, make me feel like shit. This has to do with like you as a person or me. It doesn't have to do with that person being wrong or doing something wrong. But there are certain things that like for me are triggering. Go through them and ask yourself those things. If the answer is no to most of those things, then why are you following them? You don't even realize how much it like sits on your shoulders. It worked for me. And then now when I go on my social media feed, I literally just see what I really want to see. And then my last intention, that is a hard one for me, is that I want to start dancing again. I haven't danced since June 2019. It's been over a year since I've moved my body any way 
close to ballet and any type of ballet movement I really couldn't get myself to do it a lot of people ask me when do you think you're gonna like start dancing again it was really hard for me to answer that question because I didn't feel ready but I really miss it like I dearly miss the feeling that it gave me and the peace that it gave me because it was so special for me if you have something like that if it's some hobby, maybe career that you were following before that you no longer are and you miss it and you've been thinking about it and it brought you joy and it made you happy maybe this is the year that you try to put it back into your life in a safe and healthy way I'm trying, oh my god, I sound so intense right now but no, I'm serious it's going to be good for me it's going to be good for my little heart so that basically concludes all of the intentions that I have for the year again not gonna be the super strict with them they're just things that I want to practice and I want to get better at and I want to do them because I really think that they will bring me more ease and also fill my life with more things that are not my phone or stress and uh, yeah let me know if you want to join my book club I'll work on that and um, make it more of a thing but let's not be super intense about it and put a shit ton of pressure on ourselves there's really no reason to and we were just gonna grab this year by the you know and with that said i hope you had a great new year's eve i hope you have a great day a great week a great month and a great year people 2021 is here and we're gonna kill ants we're gonna kill ants okay all right love you guys see you in the next vid okay i'm not gonna say that again okay bye